Rock, paper, scissors. If you've ever played the game rock, paper, scissors, you probably know that each style, rock, paper, scissors, has its own strengths and weaknesses. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the top five data structure that every software engineer should know and what are their strengths and weaknesses and when you should use them. All right, let's get into it. Data structure number one, arrays. Think of it as a container of a fixed length. Arrays have slots that can contain data, and each slot has a value called an index, which corresponds to the slot's position in the array. What's special about arrays? Arrays supports very fast lookup, or what is typically known as indexing. They also have a fixed size, which means adding things after the size has exceeded is very slow. They have to create another larger array and move everything over. When should you use arrays? Use arrays when you need quick lookup and you know how much data you need to process. Data structure number two, linked list. In contrary to arrays, linked list has no fixed length, which makes it much better for storing data that has arbitrary length. The way linked list achieves this is that instead of a fixed container length, it has something called pointers. You can think of it as a chain of boxes linked together by glue. Each box points to the other box, and as long as you have enough glue, you can keep creating more boxes to attach to your chain. What's special about linked lists? It is very slow. If it wants to find data in the slots, it needs to walk through or traverse all the boxes to find the data that it needs. It will ask, is the data here? checks, and then move on to the next one. Is the data here? Checks. Is the data here? Checks. So it does that for every single box until the data it's looking for is found. The other thing, lists take up more space because it needs to store metadata about the box and the glue itself. When to use linked lists. When you want to store data of arbitrary length and you don't need quick lookup, linked lists is the tool for you. Third data structure, hash map, aka holy grail of computer science, aka dictionary. If you have a key, you can use the key to look up a value in your hash map. The way hash map achieves this is it uses something called a hashing mechanism to convert a key into an internal key that only the map understands. In this example, Let's say the key is hello. Using a hashing mechanism, it can convert that key into an internal index that leads to five in the map. What's special about hash maps? Number one, it supports very fast operation on lookup, adding, and removal. It provides best in class compared to all the other data structures. How fast? It does it in O of one or constant time. Hash maps usually can be implemented using a combination of array and link list. The downside is that for hash maps, you need to have a special sauce for hashing mechanism to ensure each key is unique and doesn't collide. If two keys do collide, there are hashing collision mechanisms like linear probing to resolve the problem. When to use hash maps? When you don't need data in any specific order, but you want to operate on them as quickly as possible. Hash map is the tool for you. Next data structure, trees. As the name suggests, tree is a data structure that simulates a tree hierarchy. It has a root or a parent and children that link to the parent or the parents could link to the children as well. These are also commonly known as subtrees. The tree structure is very similar, which means they can be defined recursively. Some common examples of trees are file directories and company organizations. Special versions of trees are binary tree, binary search tree, and heap. What's special about trees? They're great for representing structure. They support very efficient lookup, adding, and removal of data. They also represent great space savings as you can represent recurring relationships using the same nodes. When to use trees? 
You want to keep your data in some specific order and you want to operate on them as quickly as possible. Now trees are not going to be as fast as HashMap, but it's still going to be a lot faster than, than the length list. Whew, that's a lot of data structures. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. That will help me grow this channel and gives me a lot of motivation to keep producing videos like this to help you become a better software engineer. All right, quick break is over. Let's get back into it. Next data structure, stacks. Stack is a last in first out data structure. It can be typically implemented using an array. Think of it like a box. You can keep putting things in it and the first thing you take out is the last item that you put in. Assume that you have a box and you want to insert three words into the box. Hi, my friend. The first word that goes into it is hi, followed by my, followed by friend. The first thing that comes out of the box when you take it out is friend, my, hi. So the last output is friend, my, hi. When to use stacks. When your data requires some specific type of ordering, especially last in, first out, for example, getting your data in the reverse order that they were inserted, then the stack is the right tool for you. Next, data structure, queues. Similar to stacks, queue is another data structure supporting ordering. The only difference is queue supports first in, first out, while stack supports last in, first out. Imagine you want to insert three digits into your queue, one, two, and three. The output or the order that they come out is, again, one, two, and three, because one was the first thing that went into the queue. Here's a more concrete difference. Here's a more concrete demonstration of the differences between stack and queue. Imagine you insert three digits into your stack and into your queue. One, two, and three. For the stack, the output or the order that the numbers come out is going to be three, two, and one. Whereas for queue, the order will be exactly the same as it went into the queue. One, two, and three. When to use queues. When your data requires some specific ordering, especially first in, first out, or getting your data in the way that you put them in, the queues are the right data structure for you. So let's quickly summarize all the things we've learned today. I built this table that breaks down all the data structures on the left-hand side and all the operations on the top corner. As you can see, array is great for lookup, but it doesn't do so well for deletion, addition, and ordering. Linked list does great for deletion and addition, but looking up and ordering are areas where linked lists are not great at. Hash map, great for lookup, deletion, addition, but ordering is something that is not good at. Tree checks off all the boxes, but it's slightly slower than a hash map. Stacks and queues are great for deletion and addition and ordering, but it's not very great for random lookups. Hopefully you've learned something from my tutorial today, and if you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.